Well, I had a really clear commute this morning, a little bit of rain, but as you've been saying all throughout the newscast, as you told me before the newscast began, the trouble really comes a little bit later. Mm -hmm. And rain equals bad in this case. And I know you're thinking, oh, it's just a little bit of rain, no big deal. Yeah, but what happens when it drops to a certain level, that water's going to freeze, and that's going to be a mess for us. I think between 7 and 9 is the greatest area of concern. Of course, that's when the kids are getting on the buses. That's when the kids are on their way to school. That's when you're on your way out to work or out the way on the commute to work so be very careful this morning and just keep a very close eye on temperatures because that's going to be the factor and of course that being said i mean what are the pavement temperatures looking like because there's, a lot of times you're looking at that right. combined with the air temperatures to get an idea of what the roads are going to look like they're still chilly they're right around freezing from what i've been able to see this morning just above freezing so that's a little bit better news but still overall we're going to watch those and see exactly how it plays up because with air temperatures continuing to drop that's going to be a factor for us too mm -hmm. Light pin boy Doppler radar this morning. We scan the skies. You see the transition underway across most of the area. Here's the thing. This is not a big snowmaker. This is not a, oh, two to four inches, three to six inches. That's none of that. This is a freezing uh, ground type situation because we are we've seen rain all night as temperatures continue to drop the ground is or the roads are going to try to freeze a little bit in spots so it's going to be a kind of an icy mess now light snow accumulation is a possibility but plus when you put that snow on top of those wet roads that's going to cause some icing issues as well this morning let's go on down for a look at temperatures we're at 36 in Whitesburg 37 in Hazard 36 in Hindman 38 Elkhorn City 38 Pikeville 36 over into Hyden 35 though up toward Jackson 35 for West Liberty, 35 in Sagersville, and 38 over toward Williamson, West Virginia. We're going down toward Harlan. They're at 37, 35 in Pineville, 36 in Middlesbrough. The areas where we could be into a mess already with the actual snow, and the snow has went by. But again, it's rained all night in these areas, so the roads could be starting to freeze. Very, very careful as you head out the door this morning. Travel forecast in place because more school closings and delays are coming in as we speak this morning. We are seeing that travel forecast continuing to stay on the red line this morning because of the possibility, the likelihood for some freezing roads to become a factor for us. Again, most locations will not see even a coating of snow, especially the far, farther west you go. It's the fact that the temperatures are dropping so fast. 29 by this afternoon will continue to drop and then rebound a little bit. So I'm going to keep the yellow line on as we head deeper into the forecast. Last six hours, rain has rolled through. Now transitioning over. Big picture though, there is a little bit more moisture behind this. It's going to try to develop and push back through here today. So not completely done after the morning, but I think the bulk of it will be this morning. You see clearing skies as we go deeper into the forecast. We will continue to monitor that tonight. The clouds try to clear out a little bit at times, but back and forth throughout the night, and then we'll see some sunshine tomorrow. Our next playmaker comes into play on Wednesday going into Thursday. For today, 29, we'll see rain to snow again. Light accumulations, your highest elevations have the better chances of seeing any accumulation because of the simple fact that it transitioned over earlier up there. 18 tonight, gradual clearing at times. We'll see most the cloudy skies otherwise drier and warmer tomorrow back into the 40s 50s as we go toward Wednesday during the day and then we'll drop again sharply overnight shaving off 25 degrees between day and night more snow showers on Thursday drier again on Friday and more chances for rain and snow this weekend third check of the refrigerator this morning so we have for you there behind the magnets on refrigerator art Nice little picture to show you coming out of James A.K. We got a shipment in from them late last week, and this one from, I think I'm pronouncing this right, and if I'm not, I'm sorry, Carissa, I think is how you pronounce that, and we appreciate Carissa's beautiful picture there. Appreciate all the pictures we get to showcase here on the morning news. So, uh, very active morning weather-wise. Be very careful. Again, it may be not be what's actively falling out of the sky. It's what's already on the ground sure. that could cause some problems with the ice or the water turning to ice. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to something happy. Let's get to today's Facebook fan of the day. All right, this morning's handpick fan is Andrea Spears from Prestonsburg. Congratulations, Andrea. That's right. You can register to become our Facebook fan of the day by visiting the WIMT Facebook page and clicking on the link at the top. You can also find more information there on some of the perks of signing up. Time 613, sports is next.